grew up out here at Mirawai Beach with my parents and a sister and we'd spend a lot of time chasing the surf around the country and going away on the weekends and uh, as I got older I'd hang out with my mates down at the skate park and it was a pretty good life really at the sea. Back then it was a lot about fun I suppose, um, just trying to pack as much pleasure into life as possible. Throughout high school, I definitely wanted to be seen as quite a good kid. You know, became a prefect and did all that sort of jazz. It was probably in those late teens that I started to lose a bit of, um, I guess, hope in the goodness of the world. And, you know, you start to see a bit of evil things going on in your community and selfishness in others and, and slowly start to deteriorate from there. It got to the point really where I was living two or three sort of quite conflicting lifestyles. I'd be going out partying on the weekend and, you know, being awake for one or two days and then, um, you know, into all the substances that you might expect and then sort of crash out for a few days and, you know, try and keep up my surfing and stuff outdoors to, to sort of feel alive there. And then at the same time, I was trying to start a career and perform well at uni and stretching myself in every direction, trying to find something to stand on, sort of like a basis for living. Every time I'd get close to sort of grasping um, what that might be, I just feel like the tide would come in and, and it'd just all get washed away again. There was a real period there where it was quite black and white. Walking around with nothing really to live for, waiting to stumble across a reason for living, really, because as far as I was concerned, there, there wasn't much to live for. Took a few days out to um, really think about my life, just thinking about how fractured and selfish the love was in my life, and it was all just about me and, and self-serving. And, I just felt like even if I achieved something, it would just be for me and for my greed. And that that, that just meant nothing. Um, it was just all pointless. And well, I was actually sitting right here and I imagined somehow in my memory that God was a ray of light and that his light was whole and that his light could, could shine through people in a, in a selfless way. But that was just a thought and um, jumped from there into Googling for churches in, in Auckland and watching some stuff online. Pulled together the courage to go check out church for myself and as I watched these people over a series of weeks who were just so authentic and able to live out their lives in a consistent way, I, you know, it just had to be real. It gave me that meaning I was looking for. I mean, today I just get to wake up every day and say, God, what do you want to do? Um, I get to bring him into every meeting at, at work, and I just really feel like when they say, you know, he's a lamp unto your feet, it's sort of like, I don't see the full journey of my life, but I don't need to, because I know he's got me, and, you know, I'm really seeing the world in colour. You know, you'd just never want it to go away.